The overall goal of the elicited imitation procedure is to study the development of recall memory in infancy and early childhood. This method can help answer key questions in the field of developmental psychology regarding how long infants remember information, the kinds of information infants remember, and the manner in which context impacts learning and memory. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be used to study recall memory in pre- and early verbal infants and children who cannot discuss the past using language. Though this method was initially used to provide insight into the development of recall memory, it has been adapted to study other aspects of cognitive development, including the ability to generalize learning and aspects of executive functioning such as planning. Begin by engaging the child in play with age-appropriate toys unrelated to the study to establish comfort with the researcher and the testing environment. For children younger than 13 months, demonstrate how to put a shape into the top or the side of a shape sorter toy while explicitly telling them to put it in. Alternatively, give older children a plastic ball and a slinky. Instruct them to roll the ball and put it inside of the slinky. Allow the child to imitate. Next, start the baseline period by putting the sequence materials for the first event on the table. Push the props towards the child and then encourage interaction with the sequence materials by asking the child what they can do with these items. Provide positive reinforcement as the child interacts with the props, both when they perform the target actions and when they are engaging with the props more generally.